Moving Coil Galvanometer Galvanometer is an electromagnetic device capable of detecting very small electric currents. This is also known as Western Galvanometer. Click on the Bakelite top of the galvanometer to view the parts. The basic design of a moving coil galvanometer is shown here. It consists of a coil of wire wound on an iron core. The coil is pivoted between the poles of a horseshoe magnet. Observe that the poles of the magnet are concave. These are the hair springs that control the motion of the coil. These hair springs also serve as leads and make contact with two terminals provided at the top of the Bakelite frame. A pointer is attached perpendicular to the coil. The free end of the pointer moves over an arc-like graduated scale. The scale is graduated in such a way that zero is at the center of the scale. Let us now see how a galvanometer is used in an electric circuit. Observe the animation shown here and deduce your inference. The galvanometer is connected to a battery, rheostat, and a reversing key as shown in the circuit diagram. Click on the reversing key to close the circuit. Now change the direction of flow of current. Click on the link provided to check your inference. Inference. The pointer deflects when the current flows through the circuit. The direction of deflection of the needle changes with the change in the direction of flow of current. The pointer deflects when the current flows through the circuit because the coil experiences a torque and rotates, resulting in deflection of the needle. Observe the deflection of the needle when the slider of the rheostat is moved. It has been experimentally observed that the number of scale divisions M indicated by the pointer is proportional to the current IG in the galvanometer coil. That is, IG is directly proportional to M or IG is equal to KM where K is the current sensitivity. A galvanometer has a low resistance and hence it cannot be used to measure large current directly. A galvanometer can be converted into an ammeter by connecting a resistor of low resistance in parallel to the galvanometer as shown in the circuit diagram. This resistor of low resistance that is connected parallel to the galvanometer is known as the shunt. A galvanometer can be converted to a voltmeter by connecting a resistor of high resistance in series as shown in the circuit diagram.